Over the last two decades, there's been a new introduction of a dialect in the Arabic language. Uh, this dialect is not really a formal one just yet, but unfortunately it's seeing itself uh, become more and more prevalent around the Middle East, uh, and unfortunately prevalent not just in casual discussions, but also now in more official discussions in media and what have you. This dialect is kind of a fusion between English and Arabic, where you predominantly have uh, you know, 90%, 80% uh, Arabic spoken, integrated with uh, English words. And the reason for that is twofold. Uh, the first reason is that the Arabic language really hasn't kept up with the English language in terms of inventing or adding new words on an annual basis. As you know, English introduces approximately 5,000 words per year. Now, what, what happens, what tends to happen with this is that a lot of technical words, scientific words, medical words, digital uh, world words remain in English and don't have an Arabic uh, counterpart. And hence, when people use these words, they uh, typically, the default, position is to use the English word. The low-hanging fruit today is not Arabic uh, words, but it's English words. And the second point is due to our limited vocabulary. And that's not necessarily saying that Arabic has a limited vocabulary. On the contrary, it has a very wealthy vocabulary. But it's because uh, we, as uh, Arabs, haven't really paid the same attention that uh, other languages uh, do towards their vocabulary and expanding their uh, vocabulary base. And that comes from uh, lack of exposure, reading, writing, and uh, unfortunately very uh, underperforming education.